Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today's topic will be team compositions. A lot of you guys have been requesting um, this video and now I have actually um, already built a couple of teams for you to consider. So let's start this out. Uh, let's go to um, this part of the team building. So the team uh, compositions that I'm going to be suggesting will be built around the buffs that you're going to be receiving. So obviously the team comps will be centered around um, each faction or each brand but feel free to tinker with it because most of the, all the teams that I'm going to be discussing is going to be mostly all of the heroes of the same brand to take advantage of the buffs here. But again from for example if you have here deploy five you can actually deploy four you could actually uh, get somebody from the other faction to to put um for if, if you don't have a specific um figure under that faction you can actually mix and match um just want to go back here so as you can see here most of my faction is tenma but i have um zhao yun um, as the only one from Galatea. This works for me, but again, I am actually um, taking advantage of the buff of the four units of the same uh, of the same uh, brand. But again, um, this uh, team comp is going to be focused on the brand itself at five figures for each brand. So let's start with... Uh, Let's start with Let's Red. So for PvE, um, just gonna take them out so that we could clear the board. So for PvE, I would suggest Yuna. And the other one is going to be um where's Kazue? Kazue is here. Then you have this is actually your PvE lineup. You have Ri, then you have Sakura, then you have Megan. Okay, so this is your, your base team. Um, per This is for the Let's Red faction. You can actually uh, replace, uh, replace uh, Megan with Rico if you don't have Megan yet. Um, it's actually an option. And also the other option that I'm looking at, uh, if you want to replace someone, is going uh, Re is going to be Minakami. Ideally, Minakami is actually good for for PVE as well, and also for PVP. So this is actually your 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 um, Let's Red team. Again, you, if you don't have some of these, and if you want to bring other factions, it's really okay, guys. Um, just I would suggest you just limit your buffs to four or three so you can still avail of the the deploy uh, three figurines so while for pvp i'm going to be bringing in aoi so aoi is going to be um replacing no 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 not that that's not that's not aoi here she is so she's going to be replacing sakura and uh, Yuna Minakami is here. Kazue is here. Megan. So um, Aoi can be can be Sakura. She also can be Harriet. Harriet is actually good for um, where is Harriet? Harriet is good for PVE. So you can actually replace her. But again. The rest is actually staple because you have your tank, you have your melee, you have your two ranged at the back. One is a specialist and one is a mil militarist. And the rest, you can actually just mix and match, guys. Again, feel free to mix and match. Um, take two out, then put two in from other factions. Again, uh, may I remind you to take advantage of the buffs that you see here up uh, upstairs. Um, on the ally portion. So next is going to be Tenma. So Tenma, you have here PVE. So I'm gonna take them out first. You actually have one of the top, I think, top uh, tanks that we have is Crusos. 
So you have here, uh, you have her, uh, you have him. Then you have Zarola. This is actually your Tenma PVE. You have Zephyr. Zephyr, one of the best in in PVE, I think. I think, guys. Um, really, you know, happy that I got her. Then you have Zephyr in the middle. Then you have Sapphire. Where's Sapphire? There she is. So this is going to be your Tenma PVE. Crusos, if you don't have him, you can swap Vasily out for him. If you don't have, or if you don't have, um, if you don't have um, Sapphire, uh, uh, you can swap uh, Vasily. But again, this team for PVE is going to be good. Also, one point to consider is Mako. So Mako, you can actually uh, swap out for Zephyr if you don't have Zephyr. So those are the combinations for um, for Tenma. This is actually for your PVE lineup. For PVP, so you still have Crossos, you still have um, you still have Sapphire here, um, but you're gonna be taking out uh, Sapphire for Alfred. Then you have uh, Zephyr and Mako. So either Zephyr or Mako. Zarola is still there and Sunny is at the back. So this is the skill that I'm looking at. So attacks and frosts all enemies for 12 seconds. So this is the skill that she is going to be very good at at level 3. So take note, you still have to level her up at level 3. But again, she's going to be worth it. So this is going to be your team moving forward for Tenma for PvP. Um, again, if you if you if you lack some of them at a higher level, you can use some of the faction, uh, some of the other factions heroes, and actually put them here. Just leave at least three per faction so that the buffs would actually take effect. The last um, the last brand that we're going to be discussing is going to be Galatea. So let's take them off the board. Gonna get Galatea here. One of the best melee that I've used is is this crazy guy. It's Zhao Yun. So he's been wonderful for me. I've been using him as one in my team. So four for um for Tenma and one Galatea, which is going to be him. Then you have Yuki as your tank or as your defender. Then you have Erixia. Erixia is actually good for 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 PVE, especially for uh, we, when you encounter bosses. Um, the other option is uh, you put in Zhao Yu. So Zhao Yu, but um, for me, I prefer Erixia uh, instead of Zhao Yu. Then you have Lu Bu. Then you have. Chris is actually very underrated. Where is Chris? Chris. I don't have a Chris here. So Chris is... Um, I actually spent copies of him. <laughs> Chris is this one. He's going to show you guys what Chris looks like so that you don't uh, forget uh, how he looks like. Chris is this guy. The basketball player who has a mask. So Chris can be a good component for your pve team especially when it comes to bosses so again he rounds out your pve team okay so chris will be here so that is actually your team moving forward for pve for pvp it's going to be zhao yun still yuki here erixia or zhao yu zhao yu then you have lubu and the one that I think is actually underrated uh, also is going to be Usuke. So this guy, he's more he's more tailored fit for PvP than for PvE. And I just want to discuss um, the other. So uh, before I you know exit from here, I just want to tell you guys that these are your base heroes for your specific brands or specific factions again please do tailor fit it if you don't have all five you may just retain three 
then substitute two from the other faction. If you have Snow A and if you have uh, Dark Knight 9 uh, figures, you may actually use them as substitutes of the same faction. So, for example, if I put her here, so you're going to have a couple of buffs. So five, you're going to avail of the five, uh, deploy five figurines, attack plus 15 and health plus 15. So feel free to mix and match and put them in your lineups if you feel that they're going to help you in a certain or a particular lineup. That's it, guys. So more or less, those are the team compositions that I actually was discussing. So um, I'm just going to put them here, but I will be putting these team compositions in the in the in the description of this video so may, you may check those out in the description so i'll copy paste this so that you could have references so these are my teams guys my team suggestions for you um hope this video helped and moving forward um if you're big if you're a beginner i've mixed and matched here a couple of super um figures that can actually be part of your core in terms of your team so hopefully you know um this will help you moving forward again anyway guys so for those who have stuck this far so please um subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos of figure fantasy and also guys don't forget click the like button if this was very informative to you Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.